The building has uh, gone through many different stages. Uh, we have more than 2,000 years of history here. It was occupied by the Romans. We found the Roman remains here. It was created as a Dominican convent, and it was the first foundation of the Dominicans in Spain. Tradition says that San Dominic came to Segovia on Christmas 1218, and he did penance in a cave. The Dominicans, at the end of the 15th century, built here a chapel that is a very holy and traditional place for, for them. And we have a late Gothic uh, main door and two chapels. The Royal Chapel with the symbols of Isabella and Ferdinand. And we have a Baroque chapel that is what we call today in Segovia the Cave of San Dominic. There are many royal connections, um, especially with uh, the Catholic kings Isabella and Ferdinand. Isabella used to live in here in the castle of the city, in what we call the Alcázar, and she had a permanent confessor here. She used to come to attend the mass and to confess. And it has been absolutely demonstrated the influence that the Dominican uh, confessors had in the political action of the Queen. The cloister was used also as a jail by the French army when Napoleon invaded Spain. In the beginning of the 19th century, the cloister was completely destroyed and was rebuilt when the Dominicans came back after the war. After that, when the Dominicans were expelled in the middle of the 19th century, it became a house for orphans and a house for old people. And it was a regime like a jail for the, for the orphans. So the aspect of the building is looked like a Charles Dickens uh, book. This place has been always a place for ideas. We are offering new degrees, new bachelors to young people also. So I think today we are close in a circle 800 years later. <laughs>